Have you ever faced a frustrating error page while browsing your Angular application? It can be really annoying, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle how to redirect to a custom error page in Angular. I completely understand how disheartening it is when your custom error handler doesn't work as expected. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers encounter similar issues when trying to implement custom error handling. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how do I redirect to my custom error page in Angular? They implemented a custom error handler but faced issues with the routing. Sound familiar? Let's dig into this together and find a solution. So what could be going wrong? The issue often lies in how the routing is set up or how the error handler is implemented. We'll break it down step by step so you can figure out what's going on and don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid these issues in the future. To resolve the issue with the custom error page, the user should first ensure that the custom error component is properly declared in the module. This is crucial for Angular to recognize the component. Next, the user should check if the custom error component is included in the entry components array. This is necessary for dynamically loaded components. Now, the user should verify that the routing is correctly set up. The route for the error page must be defined in the app-routing.module.ts file, which the user has already done. Finally, the user should ensure that the navigate method in the global exception handler is correctly implemented. Using the forward slash is appropriate here. After making these changes, the user should test the application again. If everything is set up correctly, navigating to the error route should display the custom error component. Did you know? Angular's routing system is one of its most powerful features, allowing for dynamic navigation and error handling. But it can also be a bit tricky to set up correctly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. The main issue identified is the order of routes in the approuting.module.ts file. The wildcard route, represented by sure, is placed before the error route, causing the router to always redirect to the wildcard instead of the custom error page. To fix this, move the wildcard route to the end of the routes array. This allows the error route to be reachable. Additionally, ensure that the custom error component has the correct component decorator and is added to the entry components of your main module. Following these adjustments should resolve the issue and allow the application to correctly navigate to the custom error page. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always double check your routing and module declarations. This simple habit can save you hours of debugging in the long run. And there you have it. You should now be able to redirect to your custom error page successfully. Remember, proper routing and module declarations are key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our bonus content on Angular best practices.